This is Ross of Wood Fire Power and in this video I'm going to talk a bit about aphids, their life cycle and things you might try to deal with them. They are a pain. They're unsightly. They can multiply like crazy and they are just not nice to have around. They give birth to live babies. So a single aphid, let me show you one over here. Hopefully you can see that large aphid and right behind it are two or three, I can't quite, I think there's three now, there were two a little while ago. Um, babies. The babies are born live and they're also born pregnant. So one week later those babies will themselves be large and plump like the larger one there and they will begin laying babies. The, the adults lay somewhere around 10 babies per day and so a week from now the first 10 that this one laid will themselves begin laying 10 and then a week later though each of those 10 will begin laying 10 and so on and so forth so you go from 1 to 10 a day to 100 a day to 1000 a day to 10000 a day in just a few weeks after about 3 weeks the aphids spontaneously sprout wings and they can fly. Hopefully you can see them swarming here. The fact that they can fly is just awful. It means that they can fly from these older plants down the length of the greenhouse, land on some small baby plants, and lay some babies. And that begins that whole geometric multiplication of aphids down in the baby plants. So what I try to do is to launch the babies at one end of the greenhouse and then push them down this direction as they get older and then the older mature plants are down at the far end and if there are any aphids um, happening I can rip them out and get rid of them at this end. Or if they are headed to market, if they're still um, decent plants, the aphids do wash off really easily. So just a gentle spray of water and they just fall right off. Over the course of um, the plant growth, what I'll do is to start the plants and dip them in a safe soap solution that will kill the aphids. And then I might spray that on the one week old, two week old babies down at the far end. And after that, as the plants have their last two weeks or three weeks to grow out, um, instead of any sprays, I just use water and I'll spray the individual plants with water and knock the aphids down into the water where the fish in the tables will eat them as little treats. So, um, the other thing that I do is I use a vacuum, just a shop vac, with a stick and the hose taped to the stick and I can wave this around in a cloud of aphids and a nice thing about the flying aphids is that they swarm and chase one another and hopefully you can see them flying around there but they swarm and chase one another and when the vacuum approaches the cloud of aphids it begins sucking some of them up and the others chase them all in so it just takes a few minutes to eliminate a huge cloud of aphids that's the one gratifying thing about aphids is um, 
vacuuming vacuuming them up is rather fun. Um, so that's what I do. I, I take plants like this and spray them with water or else throw them away, get them out of the greenhouse, and if there are flying aphids, I'll vacuum them up, and then I use a conveyor system beginning with the small plants at one end and the mature plants where some aphids might show up at the other end. And then with all of those steps, I can just about keep ahead of the aphids. But it is important to get rid of them because if, um, if you don't and the aphids get ahead of you, you can spend more time dealing with washing aphids off of plants than you spend planting, seeding, and growing the plants themselves. So if you have an infestation happen, it's best to just rip those plants out, get rid of them, plant new seed. You'll have less work to just start over again than you will trying to get rid of them. Because if you take a plant like this, you can spray them with water but there are always going to be nooks and crannies that the aphids can hide in and you will never wash them all off of the plant. The only reason these plants are here is because this variety of lettuce is particularly sweet and delicious and we have company coming so rather than throwing these out I'm going to vacuum the aphids up and wash the aphids off with water and then in a couple of days we'll eat them and then I'll have them out of here. But meanwhile I've got to deal with the clouds of aphids and so that's why I decided to do this little video. So to recap, the aphids multiply like every week it goes from 1 to 10 to 100 to 1000 per um, initial single aphid. After about three weeks they sprout wings and they can fly around in your greenhouse and deposit new babies on plants that are far away from where they were. So if at all possible you want to get the plants out of your greenhouse before you have any that um, mature to the point that they fly. If you keep them knocked down and not flying then they go right through your greenhouse and out and you can wash them off and basically they, the numbers drop um, catastrophically to very low numbers. The minute that you get flying aphids in the greenhouse they deposit all over the place and the numbers everywhere just go through the roof really fast. So if you see aphids, act quickly. This is Ross at Wood Fire Power. Have a great week.